Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and wow, I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a Foundation Friday. Happy to be back and I got inspired to do a Foundation Friday today because I got this amazing package in the mail. Check this out. It says Becca Skin Love. Now inside this little top flap, I haven't played with these yet, but they're supposed to like make your skin glowy. And on the sides, if you open this little drawer, foundation! Yes! I love when brands send me the entire collection of colors. Even though I only have one skin tone, I just like to have them all. So this is Becca's new Skin Love Foundation. It's their Weightless Blur Foundation infused with Nectar Brightening Complex. So there's 24 colors to choose from and I have them all. So today I'm gonna try on this foundation, what I'm wearing now, we're gonna swatch and we're gonna see how well it does throughout the day. So before I get into all the details about the foundation, let me show you exactly how I applied it to my face. First of all, can we talk about this skin? Can we talk about the fact that I don't have one pimple on my face right now? <sighs> I'm so happy. Some of y'all don't know my struggle, but I've had serious acne my entire life and this is, this is new. But moving on. Now I wish I had my Becca primer to go with the Becca foundation, but I'm completely out. So I'm gonna use my Cover FX mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment, even though there's not much acne to treat anymore. And let's just prime the skin. Now just by looking at it, I know that from here on it's gonna to be too dark. I might be able to get away with maple, but I also gonna try these lighter ones to see what is the perfect match. So let's start with the darkest of the tan, which is maple. This used to be my summer color. I don't know if it's still gonna work, but let's try it. It does have a pump, which is amazing. That's how I like to pump my foundation. This is maple. Let's try bamboo. So this is amber. Hmm. Interesting. Moving on down, this is cafe. I made my swatches too big. I need more cheek. And let's try fawn. Fawn is probably too light and it's definitely not gonna match my body. I think I'm liking this second one right here, which is Cafe. All right, let's do it. We're gonna use Cafe and I'm going to be using a beauty sponge, putting on one pump. Let's see how this does. Oh yeah, that's the color for sure. Nice, so what I can always count on for Becca is getting good coverage. It's really pretty. So here's a completed look with just the foundation all on its own. I think got me some really good coverage. It's not shiny, keeping me matte. Good color match. So far, so good. It is currently 2.38 p.m. Yes, I got a late start. And now I'm gonna put on the rest of my face. And we're back. So now my face is completely Complete once again still loving how it looks still very matte it blended very well with my primer the rest of my makeup my contour highlight all that jazz and I'm loving it thus far. Oh, I forgot my highlight. Oh Am I crazy? Was I really about to do a Becca video with no freaking highlight like bruh bruh so This is the Becca Prosecco pop It's gonna pop some of this on cheeks real fast Yes, darling. Yes, oh yes, now, now this is a Becca video. Now this is a Becca video. Little on the nose, little on the cupid's bow, little up here, little up there, little bit everywhere. Where were we? BT Dubs, I'm also wearing Becca on the lips. This is their collab with Chrissy Teigen. This is the color Beach Bum. I have been in love with all of Chrissy's colors. I think there's at least three or four and I've never liked like an entire line of lip glosses from somebody before, but I love all of them. This is a really very nude. It's just, it's so pretty. I gotta show you guys all of them another day. So back to the foundation. This does have 
two, three fluid ounces. A little bit more than usual. Every foundation I've reviewed is always exactly one. So they snuck like a drop or two in there more. And of course this little booklet they gave me, it's supposed to have medium buildable coverage. This is also supposed to give you a velvety, natural, smooth finish. I think we're doing that right about now. And it's supposed to give you the best version of your skin. My skin is just living its best life. So it's not even claiming to be a matte foundation but it is very matte and that's why I personally am loving it. So I think this should be a good fit for oily skin, but I will be putting that to the test today. This does cost $44, available at Ulta, Sephora, probably Nordstrom's, anywhere, you know, Becca usually is, it should be there. And it has vitamin C, it's supposed to boost the radiance, ginger, it's supposed to nourish your skin, and avocado and melon blends will hydrate your skin. So they put some other little special ingredients that make this a little bit more skin friendly than their other products. Now, although I absolutely love, 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 love when brands send me all the different shades so I could swatch them, see what color is really mine, I am never going to be all 24 colors. Like I'm never gonna be this pale and I'm never gonna get this dark, I mean, some crazy things would have to happen in order for this to be my color. So I might as well just like give them to you, right? Like, do you guys want one? Like anybody, let me know. These do cost $44 each. And I, my, my heart cannot just let me waste all of these. So I much rather give them to you. So we're gonna do another giveaway right now. If you guys haven't seen, I just hit 250,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so thank you for that new milestone. So I love to give back, as you guys know. But might as well give back to the foundation community. So I have many giveaways going on right now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Go ahead and follow me right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I want you to go to Ulta, right? Speaking of Ulta, if you guys haven't heard the news, I am actually on the walls in Ulta right now. I'm one of their models, it's very exciting. Go to Ulta, go look for the Becca Skin Love Foundation and get color matched. Let me know what shade you are. Come back to this video, leave me a comment, and I might just send it to you. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram as well. You can comment there too for like a little extra entry to make sure I see it. So I'll be picking people at random. I might just pick the first person that calls out this color. Like, I don't know. It's gonna be random. I'm just gonna be like Oprah and be like, you get a foundation, you get a foundation, you get a foundation. It's gonna be great. So follow me on Instagram right now. Do it, do it. It's free. Instagram is free. Can you also push that subscribe button since we're just pushing buttons around here? Yeah, it's, it's just as easy as Instagram. It's, it's like right, it's right around here. Maybe it's over here. Who knows? You, you'll find it. So I will be coming back at the end of the day and I'm gonna show you exactly how well this foundation does on my skin. And I'm back. It is now 9.38 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for exactly, to the minute, seven hours. Now seven hours is a pretty long time, it's a full day, and this is how I look without any blotting, touching up, or powder at all. Obviously, I do have a little bit of a sheen, I do have oily skin, but for a foundation that's not even claiming to be matte, I still think it looks pretty good. It's giving me more of like a dewy shine instead of like a why are you so oily shine. I'm not too mad at it. So at this point in all my foundation Fridays, I grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are by CVS. So last look, how shiny I am. Okay, not too bad. Now I'm going to just press this on here and this should just pick up the oils and not the foundation. on my skin it actually does look like quite a lot I don't see too much of the foundation so that's a good sign for transferring but let me give you guys a close-up right now I think it looks really good again I'm kind of back to my soft matte finish 
it didn't take off the makeup, so that is really good. So looking at it right now, overall, I do think it did a pretty good job on oily skins, probably even better on normal or dry skin. The Becca Skin Love Foundation is definitely not as heavy as the Becca Ultimate Coverage. This is the one you want for like full coverage, what flaws, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm perfect type of look. And this one goes down to more of like the medium coverage option, not as heavy, nicer ingredients and probably better for the summer and hotter days. To be completely honest, I only use my ultimate coverage when I really need some full coverage. I wanna be glammed out, perfection, special occasions. But I probably wouldn't wear this like on an everyday basis, especially during the summer. But the Becca Skin Love is a much lighter foundation, really good for every day, easy to pump. It has this like plastic container to throw in your purse. This would be more of an everyday foundation than this one, in my opinion. If you've tried the Becca Skin Love Foundation yourself, please leave a comment down below and let us all know how well it worked for you and your skin. And also say what type of skin you have, whether it be normal, dry, or oily. Once again, make sure you go to Ulta Beauty, get color match, and then come back to this video or Instagram and tell me your shade in the Becca Skin Love Foundation. And I might just choose you to get one for free. Before you go, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, Foundation Fridays on Fridays and Curly Hair videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.